Hi, I'm here with Joe Blader, PhD. He's a child psychologist, and he's also the Meadows Foundation and Sempras Professor of Child Psychiatry Research at the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio. He's going to be speaking at the upcoming APSARD meeting, which is the American Professional Society of ADHD and Related Disorders. That meeting is going to be held in Washington, D.C. at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel this coming January 15th to 17th, 2016. The topic of his talk is, What is dysregulated about mood among kids with ADHD, and what can we do about it? Joe, can you give us an overview of what you'll be discussing? One of the more disabling problems that kids with ADHD have are often anger outbursts, loss of temper, low frustration tolerance, and aggression that cause a lot of difficulties at home, school, and making and keeping friends. How we understand kids with those types of difficulties has been a challenge where sometimes we may rush to trying to treat a mood problem, maybe at the expense of exhausting all the possibilities for just treating the ADHD. Mm -hmm. So we've done some some trials in which we identify kids with ADHD, disruptive behavior disorders, and pretty severe problems with aggression. The treatment approach that we've tested is to first optimize on an individual basis stimulant regimen for their ADHD. Mm -hmm. And we've recruited kids who have already had significant prior treatment with stimulant medications. But when they come into our trial, we're adjusting the dose, adjusting the agent to try to find the best treatment for their ADHD symptoms. And it's only those kids who continue to have problems with aggression and low frustration tolerance and outbursts that then go on to treatment with other agents that we add on in a placebo-controlled fashion. In your studies, when you are manipulating the the mono treatments of, of these patients. How do you know when you've hit the right spot? How do you decide when to keep going with just the one stimulant preparation versus developing a different uh, or separate diagnosis? That's a great question, Jonathan. One of the things that we're focused on is the optimization at an individual level of stimulant medication. Because unlike some other product that treats psychiatric conditions, stimulant medications have pretty individualized dose-response relationship. So we have a protocol where we follow an algorithm that exposes kids to a number of doses. And we usually start with the long-acting methylphenidate product. We titrate on dose pretty much on a weekly basis in our studies. Mm -hmm. until we identify a regimen that's optimally helpful with minimal side effect or we reach what seems to be a top dose for, for that youngster. We find that many, many more children than we would have expected end up having a terrific response. And this is very different from what happens in community care, by the way, where child sees sees a doctor, is prescribed a starting dose of a stimulant medication, and they may languish on that dose with no adjustment or titration based on a youngster's response for several months. And maybe if they're lucky, there's one adjustment upwards, but recent pharmacoepidemiological studies have suggested that even that is uncommon. The steps beyond that to rigorously identify what's the best treatment for this youngster are the exception rather than the rule in routine community care, uh, which is a shame because our studies and some of the work that we've been doing in pediatric settings suggest that when you rigorously adjust stimulant medication alone based on response, careful assessment of side effects. Many children don't need to go on to, as we say, polypharmacy, where we're adding other medications to try to help with their out-of-control behavior or outbursts and rageful problems. So you can talk more with Joe Blader and discuss and debate with him at the upcoming app
APSORD professional meeting, which is going to be held this January 15th to 17th, 2016 at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Washington, D.C. We hope you will join us. Joe, thanks so much for taking some time to be with us today. Pleasure. Thank you very much, Jonathan.